Good morning, boys and girls. On this wonderful Wednesday, we're going to continue talking about place value. When we understand place value, numbers become so easy to work with. Let's take a look at my whiteboard. So on my whiteboard today, I wrote tens and ones. Now your job is to help me fill it in. What if the number was 60? How many tens are in 60? Well, we can see that in any two digit numbers, the first number shows how many tens there are. So all we have to do is write the number six there. And how many are left over? Yeah, that's how many ones are left. So in the number 60, we have six tens, like six ten sticks, and zero extra, zero ones. So that's how we show place value for the number 60. Let's try. Uh, let's see, clear my drawing. Oh, rats. Okay, let's try it again. Let me just add my boxes again. So I'm wanting to erase all of it. All right. Here's my box. And we have. Tens and ones. Oops, so it might be in the wrong place. There we go. Okay, let's try a new number. What if my number was 80? How many groups of 10 are there in the two digit number 80? Well, we can see that the first number is what shows how many tens there are. So there's eight groups of 10, or it'd be like eight 10 sticks, and how many extra? Zero, nice. Let's see if we can stop sharing this one and do some of our IXL ones. So this one shows 40. How many groups of 10 are in 40? Right there. Yep. 40 equals blank tens plus blank ones. Nice. So we can see that there are four tens and zero ones. 60. How many groups of 10? Right there. Yes. Six. How many extra ones? Zero. All right. Some of you guys might get this really fast. Let's just do one more really quick. 80 is how many groups of 10? Nice. And how many ones? 80 is like eight groups of 10 and zero ones. Okay, I'll let you keep working on that. And when you have it mastered, when you do 10 in a row and get them all right, then pick a different subject that you want to learn about and keep getting that math mind smarter and smarter. See you tomorrow.